welcome, welcome, welcome to Mary the First Sight, season 15, episode 3. And this is for San Diego, y'all. Mary the First Sight, San Diego. And this video is for Alexis and Justin. And I do videos on all the separate couples. So at the end of this video, you'll see a link above my head. And you can click on the video of the next couple. But let's get into it because you know what? I'm calling this, um, I've been drinking. I've been drinking a drunk Alexis. And you know what, y'all? I like drunk Alexis this week better than I did last week. A drunk Alexis had her guard down. She was talking from the heart. She was uh, she was actually making more sense drunk than she was making last week a sober. I think Alexis is starting to be the girl I thought she was in the beginning when they were showing the matchmaking special. But then when they showed when what showed up last week, I was like, who is this Alexis? I don't even like her. But this week, um, I started coming around. I like drunk Alexis. Are we going to have to keep a bottle uh, next to her for me to keep liking her? I sure hope not. I hope who we who we see now is who we're going to see for the rest of the time. Because then I'm back on the, I'm on a train that I think this couple can make it. Because honestly, I believe that uh, Justin is exactly what Alexis needs. Because Alexis thinks very highly of herself. And uh, Justin is very eager to please. And those two things go well together. He don't have no real big ego. And she got got a big ego and she, he can stroke her ego and as long as she don't put him down or like his friends say assassinate his character I think that they might be okay I think they might be a good balance but she said she likes him she said she's starting to realize he's a good balance to her because she's a firecracker basically that's I'm like that means I'm too much you know she's another probably one of these people say she wants to become as she is she's probably been too much for a long time but never wanted to tone it down so uh, lucky for her that Meredith First Sight found her a man that even though he's seven foot tall in stature, his ego ain't seven foot tall because um, he lets her say whatever she want to say. But I don't know how long that's going to go on, but she's definitely going to have to do better at controlling some of the things that come out her mouth. Uh, because even the only thing I got mad at this episode was, was when they was dancing and he was taking off the guard or about to take off the guard. She was like, find the beat, find the beat. Ah, there you go again, Alexis, saying stuff you don't need to say. But she recognizing that, you know, his personality is he's not going to be trying to be controlling over her. He's going to let her be free, do what she wants to do. But he's still going to be close by. And she was saying she really likes that. But it sounds like also what she's saying is she want to be able to say what she want to say. And anybody and, and the person still sticks with her. I hope she doesn't end up being a Lindsay from last year because that's who Lindsay was last year. Say what Whatever I say, but I still want you to support me. No, Alexis, that's good that you got a guy who's going to stick by you, but you're still going to have to learn how to control your tongue. But in this episode, Drunk Alexis, I like Drunk Alexis. I've been drinking. Justin said he's, he is a pleaser. He said he's quick to apologize. When something goes wrong, he's quick to get down on his knees and say, I am sorry. Uh, what you need me to do to fix it? Um, there's going to be a whole lot of sexual favors going around because Justin said he easy. He loves to please. Okay, I like a man that loves to please in the bedroom and everywhere else. I bring it on, Justin. I bring it on. Justin was like, oh, she's so thoughtful. I see how they matched us because when it was cold in San Diego, cold San Diego, um, she was like, can we get a heater over here? Can we get a heater over here? And he was like, oh, she was taking care of me. He even mentioned that on the after party because he's in the after party this week. And he was like, that was one of the things that he loved about Alexis was that when they was cold, she went and got a heater. Like I said, it's going to be role reversal in this couple. Uh, Lex is going to be the man and Justin going to be more like the woman. Even his brother is like, you know what? You're a grown man now. You're a grown man. I think a lot of people might have baby Justin. Maybe the brother didn't look at him as being a man. But let me tell you, he's going to have to step up to the plate now. Now that he is a real husband and he is a grown man. And I think he always was. I just think that people look at Justin and they assume certain things. And you know what? I owe Justin an apology because when he was talking to them uh, earlier weeks, talking about women only want him for his body and want to see him about the side of his um his d and i was like boy ain't nobody thinking about that come to find out i guess everybody is thinking about it y'all even alexis's friends was asking her are you afraid that it might be too big and all this other kind of stuff who knew? I didn't know that's what women think that just because a man is tall, that he's also going to have a tall, um, he's also going to have a big uh, thing down there. Ain't none of y'all heard Shaq's story. Shaq, Shaq from the Lakers, he tell the story that don't, that don't go hand in hand. Everybody know that you have to look at the man's hands. Don't be looking at his height. Look at his hands. That's what tells you the real story. Not his height. His height don't have nothing to do with it, y'all. So stop asking them questions. But you know what? I owe Justin an apology because I thought everybody knew that and I guess not and here we are at the wedding and people are talking about it so Justin I apologize I thought you were just full of it I'm um, trying to hype yourself up but I guess it's a thing it must be a real thing out here and I don't know
know if Alexis was drunk or she kind of ghetto or street or what. I don't know. But when he, she was talking to his friends, he was like, I'm an OG. I'm OG. Girl. And then when she was going, when they was exiting the wedding, she was going down the exit line like she was going down the soul train line. And she was throwing up and said, girl, what you doing? Is Alexis ghetto or what is going on with Alexis? I know she ain't got no filter. Is she street? Um, I know that mom and a couple of them sisters kind of looked a little bit suspect. But uh, I don't know, Alexis. We gonna might need to refine you just a little bit here. But she was asking his friends, you know, what's the cheat code? What's the cheat code? And they were like, um, just don't assassinate his character. That's what you don't need to do. And that's what I'm afraid about, Alexis, because she's good with the put downs. She's good with the put downs. And that's what I think could really derail the relationship if, she, if she's too quick on the trigger with the put downs. And it's interesting because when Alexis went over there and asked her friends, what was the cheat code? What was this? What was that? Her friends was like, I ain't telling you about none of her flaws. You're going to figure that out. The idea like that. I don't like um, relatives and friends throwing their uh, friends under the bus in front of the new spouse like they did last week when everybody was telling everybody bad stuff. Uh, let them figure it out on their own. You don't need to be ruining their wedding or their marriage before it even starts. So I did like Alexis's friends that they didn't give up no tea on her uh, too soon. But Justin, he going to find out soon enough. Because even when his friends was asking her, are you ride or die for Justin? She was like, I don't know, dying is a little bit too much. Ah, you didn't have to say that, Alexis. That's the one thing about Alexis. I just, I don't understand why she has to say everything that she thinks. She doesn't really have to say things. She did. Everybody knows what the sentiment of that uh, phrase is, ride or die. We ain't talking about literally dying. We know what it means when you say, are you a ride or die chick? She didn't have to correct them and say, oh, uh, dying is too much. That's just another one of those areas where I think people, you know, when you see that type of personality, that they have to just keep it real all the time and they got to stop you midstream on every sentence you make it and say, girl, just go with the flow. Can you go with the flow? But you know what? She definitely is spoiled because she was telling them after the wedding night, she was spoiled and she was telling his friends, his friends was like, you know, well, how are you? If you get mad, are you the type of woman where he should chase you or he should leave you alone? And she starts saying, though, Lita Adams, uh, son, you can reach me by airplane. Thing. Cross the desert in a whatever. She was singing the Olita Adams song, talking about get me if you can. That if I block you, you better email me. If I block you, you better text me. You better email me. You better be outside my window with a boombox and a white beater shirt on screaming my name. Um, Alexis, she is definitely spoiled. She gonna want everything her whole her way all the time. I hope she can admit when she's wrong because I'm starting to get vibes. She may can't do that. Uh, we gonna have to work on Alexis. Um, but I think the patience. And the calmness of Justin's personality hopefully will wear her down. I really hope that this will be the reverse of the Katina and Lajuan last week. And I hope that Alexis will eventually lower her walls because she got some walls up, some thick ones. Her walls is as thick as the walls of Jericho. And y'all know what I'm talking about in the Bible where they had to walk around them walls several times for them walls to fall down. Uh, Justin might have to walk around Alexis uh, 7,000 times because her walls are thick. Her, fr her friends and sisters said, love her but be firm, basically saying if you don't firm with her she may run all over you uh so justin's definitely gonna have to uh, have to do that part he's fun loving he likes to have a good time when they was doing that little garter dance he was trying to be all sexy as as um is Justin part of the Cap Alpha Psi fraternity? Because he looked like he was doing that little shimmy dance that those Kappas be doing all the time. But he was turning it on. And then let's talk about catch the beat, catch the beat. Girl, be quiet. Just be happy your man is trying to entertain you. But Alexis was lit the whole time, drunk pretty much the whole uh, episode. And they were talking about, you know, what's going to happen in the bedroom on, on the wedding night. And she said um, she wasn't going to do nothing. But as soon as when they got there, she flopped herself up in there talking about, look at all this chocolate with all this lotion all over me. How does this look all laying in your bed? Girl, you trying to give it up already. Don't be trying to front like you ain't want to give it up. And she was kissing Justin uh, like they was in a Harlequin romance movie. She was, uh, that tongue was deep down his throat. And Justin was like, yeah, he's silly, but, he, but he, he, his D is harder than a rock. He was like, don't be playing with me, girl. Don't be playing with me. You know, you can get this. You can get this tonight if you want it. <laughs> But yeah, I hope Lex Alexis does calm down. She was trying to talk about she was prom king and class president. And Justin was like, I was class president too. She was like, oh, you was? Yeah, yeah, he was, Alexis. Like I said, Alex Alexis be trying to put herself up on a pedestal. But let me tell you, uh, to me, they equally match. I don't know why, uh, you know, Alexis was talking about at first she wasn't physically attracted to Justin. And now she's over it because she realized it was superficial. But let me tell you, I really don't see in terms of matching, if you don't talk about people on a scale of 1 to 10, I don't necessarily believe that... Um, 
Alexis is so much more attractive physically than Justin. I really think that they're equally matched. That's why I don't like her coming off on this high horse like she's so much more attractive than Justin. Um, they equally match intellectually, physically, a lot of ways. They are intellectually, they are intellectually and physically matched in terms of looks. And Justin liked that she made him feel wanted and everything because I think Justin is used to doing most of the chasing and he liked the fact that um, Alexa was Alexa was coming on to him kind of strong, you know, and that and when she was drunk and lit and had her tongue down his throat and she was putting her little booty in the air on, on wedding night talking about look at all this chocolate with lotion on it. <laughs> But when she started talking about she saw him on hinge and he and uh, she swiped off of it, you know, Justin was on the after party. He told a longer story. So not only did she see him on hinge, but they actually started communicating off hinge and they actually swapped up IG pages with each other. And um, they actually and then he said that he DM'd her in IG and she blew him off. And she was like, he was like, you know, I'm this is Justin from Hinge. And she goes, I know who you are. She was not interested in um, Justin on Hinge or in IG. She didn't like the way that he looked. And now look here. Uh, he is her whole husband. She said, but she's overlooking that because she felt she was superficial. And I'm believing her, y'all. I am really believing her because, you know, this story about Alexis out here talking about she got a lot of options. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I'm not saying that she's not a nice person or she's not attractive, but I don't believe that she's got men falling at her feet. And let me tell you, I think Justin is a very good match for her and I think he'll be a good husband. And I'm hoping and praying that these two uh, make it to the end and they work out okay. Uh, but this episode was funny. I know a lot of people talking about this season is boring. I don't think it's boring. I think it's heating up. It is heating up and I'm actually enjoying the season. That's it, y'all. Watch the other videos of my other couples. Talk to you later. Bye.